comes. Good afternoon, San Moran. It's a fair who's at Wuhanid, Moloeni. Welcome to it. This is what we call Teenagers on a Mission. Kona la gu channel ni tanda gakulu. SABC One, Mzansi for sure. Ni asgu tukabale tulha maganja na face for the next thirty minutes. So in fagule pass, sambe nani into the world where only life, science, and technology exist. That's about right. And who carries accompanied by myself, Ubuntu Wabantu, and Sikona to lead the way, guys, because it's what we do, you know. Yes, most definitely. It's all about science, but and sometimes it's into sfiga and expected like this thing in full we as an challenge how much science do you think actually goes into figure skating figure skating yes well i'm doing at the top of my head they ask like some physics yeah you know yes. like movement yeah speed yeah now in anatomy you know because we yeah. have to know zimba it yes most definitely i'm so excited about today's episode because number five is over gashela young ice superstar skaters mm -hmm. and they are making it happen on ice are you ready? I'm ready. Let's hit it. All right, my gang, this is what you can expect on this episode of TOMZ. Meet young figure skaters who are taking the sport by storm. Sit for Nigabanzi about the gear they use to make it happen on ice and discover their amazing ambition. Let's get behind the science of skating. Explore the origins of skates, hence, they were made of bones. See how technology will make competitions more fair and skaters more injury free and test how well you paid attention in the ultimate quiz. You know what time it is, my friends? Time for social media. Some videos are social media. Some videos are going to be on social media. sports. Some videos are going to be on Twitter. Some videos are going to be on basketball. Some videos are going to be on tennis. Okay, let's go to the boy. Some of the food is princess underscore beauty. She likes ice skating and she also enjoys netball. Well, guys, if you guys are not in my car, I'm going to send you a comment. Good to be on sports. Hit us up on social media. On Facebook, we are TOMZ. On Twitter, it's Tom's underscore SAPC underscore one. Some videos are going to be on like it's called a circle. So I'm my question, and this is what they had to say. Check this out. Hello. Hello. John. Yeah, pillow, na. Yeah, pillow, come along. Kwenga. Okay. Kwenga, unfunu kiana ne. What is figure skating? Um, if figure skating, it's ice skating. Yeah. Most people buy enza to have fun because it's very fun. Ugienza yeah. like upizu skate and jepizu ice. Have you ever done it before? Yes. But in John. And the like, when I get in, I'll start to knock pull. My like, yo, it's so nice. Okay, what skate are you on? I'm going to skate. I'm going to be on my moving at the band. Okay, so I'm going to skate. I'm going to skate. I'm going to skate. Um, it like that was a bang zaz good is visual, ne? But then he's about to be inside with skate. But she she is like, I'm going to go like go. La paya go go go. Yeah, yeah, she she is. Yeah, she is. Yes, good eyes. Yeah, they use shoes that have less friction. Yeah. So that the shoe can slide easily on the ice. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever done it before? No, but I know someone who have done it before. W would you like to do it? No. Why was seven selling casuals? Why won't I call seven sir? Like I'm a tapis or my tea or my heel. It's a fish, it looks a less cool way. It dead ye it looks so and gang apart. This is on a is as of it skate. Okay, okay guys, it's heading a figure skating. Got the over the sick oh and then galen double. Let's check out this video for more info. If figure skating is classified as a sport in which individual people, duos, or ganyaic groups perform on figure skates. Performances usually occur inside ice rinks, which are built especially for this purpose. Figure skating requires a high level of your fitness for the ability to incorporate other types of artistic dance and rhythmic movements. Yayi winter sport your ala to be included in the Olympics. Thanks to technology that can keep ice at the same temperature, figure skating can be done in almost any country. More than 3,000 years ago, Abandu made skates out of bone of animals. In the 12th century, Abandwana used to skate while fighting with sticks on the ice, sometimes even breaking bones through a process. In the 13th century, the Dutch innovated the skate and added edges, making it easier and faster to use. 4,500 years later, ice skating became one of the first sports single men and women could do without being supervised. Yazi, figure skating has come a long way True. since. I mean, go go, it's even a sport in the Olympics. Yes, most definitely. And I'm a dead devils have actually combined a kite and skating together. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's like a kite ice skating where they cut on top of like frozen lakes and like frozen rivers and stuff like that. It gives them speed and it's like an extreme sport. I've done it before, actually. Okay, I won't lie. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Can you spell in on social media if you guys would ever do such a thing? So, Sabo, go go. 
Welcome back, my friends. You guys still tuning to Teenagers on a Mission, Corona Lago, SABC, One I'm Zante for Shizzle. And in Amtai Buffet, we're focusing on figure skating, which is like an awesome sport. Indeed. And during many years, get guys, figure skating has been around for quite some time. Go to Avanti Balafa, I have started to partake in the madness. Uh -huh, most definitely, and they are killing it, Buffet, too. It's De Mayo. Let's go check them out, actually. It's your boy CAD, you are pronounced Caddy, yet on another mission, riding the streets of Johannesburg. My friends, we're going to set myself up, see, touch down Northgate. So, we were talking about figure skating, so Kalana and Abucheta by two, who are representing our country, my friends, in this amazing, unique sport. So you and me in this mission, or well, Sister Talana, let's get this party started. What's up, guys? Hello. How are you? Good, in you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Ooh, geez, you guys are looking all fresh like fairies. Thank you. Are you guys good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you guys do like an amazing sport, and today I want to find out exactly what you guys do. So before we do that, I want you guys to hit me with an introduction. You tell me who you are, um, what do you do, and you tell me who you are and your age. Hi, I'm Marielle. I'm 16. I do figure skating and ballet. Awesome. Um, I'm Gadlacho. I'm 16 and I just do figure skating. <laughs> okay, guys, so take me through the routine of what you guys do on a daily basis, like when you get here. What do you guys do? Okay, well, first we get warm, we run around, do our stretches, mm -hmm. and then we get on and then we do on, on ice, ice warm up. Yeah, and then we do What's that? Our like jumps, spins, okay. steps. Before okay. we do our program. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so tell me, what's the importance of warming up? Why do you guys need to warm up? Why can't you just go in and skate? Um, it's to prevent injuries, mm -hmm. mainly. Oh. And also, like, because, like, in skating, you have these, like, spirals and, like, camel catch. So, like, you have to be flexible. Yeah. yeah. So, you guys, when you do your warm-ups, is it, like, on your legs only, or is it your whole body? Whole body. Okay. Because if you on this sister, why it's possible to skate, you have to know what skates look like. Skates have a boot and blade. A blade is the part that comes in contact with the ice. It's actually not flat. It has a curve at the bottom and then another curve going the other way at the bottom, giving it a hollow part. Lendoge results in the two edges for the skater to skate on. The blades need to have a balanced contact with the ice, otherwise it will be too slippery to skate on. Okay, cool. So let's talk about your blades, guys. Do you know any information about those blades? Um, so first we wipe our blades so that okay. we don't rust. keep them dry. Okay. Um, because it's steel. <laughs> mm -hmm. so we wipe it and then we put the soaker on um, when we put it in our bag. And then, so we don't damage our skates when we walk and make them blunt. Mm -hmm. We have blade guards. Okay. It's like this hard cover. And yeah. then that prevents you from like damaging your blades. Also, yeah. if you like have your blades sharpened, we put those on. Too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep it. So basically, these are like the important like gear in all your uniform. Yeah. 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 Do the blades have different sizes? Um, yeah, it depends on your degree of skating. So like if you do like triple jumps, then you have to have a bigger toe pick and yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's a toe pick? It's this thing here. Oh, the, it's uh, to dig, like if you're doing flips, flips mm -hmm. blitzes, mm -hmm. you dig with your toe. Okay, cool. Let's talk about the movement and how you guys actually control the toe pick. How do you guys like stop, you know, when you're skating? How do you do the spins? What do you do the spins with? What, what, is it all in your ankle or your whole leg or your body? Well, everything like adds up to like, everything like is important. But when we do the spins, we have to be on the ball of our foot. So yeah. if we like go on the back, we you fall back. back. Okay. And then with jumps, like it depends for, you get extra points if you go like on an outside edge, like your- Or inside or edge. Or inside yeah. edge and mm -hmm. like, so we have to know our edges and stuff. Okay. Well. Ice skating is all about a friction. As we said before, it blades are gonna have two sides that come in contact in the ice, giving it the least possible amount of surface area touching the ice. Lendoge causes less friction, which can slow a skater down. But when a skater, the pressure of the blade on the ice causes the ice to melt. This makes a thin layer of water between the blade, foot in the ice, causing the skater to go faster. So let's talk about how, how did you guys join the sport? What is, was it like a parent thing? Were your parents like, you're gonna join the sport? It was a teacher thing, or it was just like you guys fell in love with the sport? Well, for me, I fell in love with the sport. Uh, I joined it by 
first living in Cape Town, mm -hmm. started at a club, mm -hmm. then I moved here, well, and then I watched this movie called Ice Princess, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just loved the way that she was skating, the movements and the music, mm -hmm. yeah, I also started when I was three. Wow. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And you got your own? Um, well, I came to, um, to public skating a lot mm -hmm. and then like um, I really like I enjoyed the sport because I used to do rollerblading before Okay. and then I was like okay yeah, maybe I should join but then I kept getting sick <laughs> every time I came so then like I only started when I was 14. How far do you guys like how far are you planning on going with figure skating? Well I want to take it as a career I want to travel overseas yeah. and like earn money do shows. Okay okay and you? <laughs> I'm a bit different because I started late, okay. so um, it's more like a hobby for me, like just for like exercise to keep fit and yeah. dress up and stuff. Okay, what have you guys like achieved so far? Well, so far I have 24 medals yeah. and <laughs> three trophies so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do them? mainly synchronized skating. So then okay. like I've been to nationals with my team and stuff. What's synchronized skating? It's basically, um, we have a team of 16 people and we skate around, it's in sync. Like everything has to be in sync, it's okay. really cool. Okay. And what, what, do you guys do you do synchronized skating? What do you do? I just do solo skating. Solo skating. Okay, so Gatlayo, you work with like other people. Take, take me through the, the discipline of working with other people. I guess like um, not just like our skating has been synced, but like our uh, minds and our like, f like we're all like really close. So it's more, it's harder because like you have to like keep up with the person next to you and the person on the other side and the person in front. But it's, yeah, it's tough, <laughs> but it's, yeah. Okay, cool. So guys, let's talk about the, the outfits. You've got, you guys have blades. Yes. Tell me more about everything, the dresses, yeah. Yeah, well, we have to skate with skin tight because when we fall, we don't want to scrape our legs. Okay. Um, and then, like, we design our own dresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have someone make them yeah. for us. Okay. And then, yeah. Are they comfortable? Um, sometimes. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, they are. Really? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys sure? Yeah. Yes. You guys seem like you're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they are comfortable. Wow, yeah. what an amazing team. Jeez. And you just... And again, I mean, I'm starting to fall in love with ice skating. I think it's a cool sport. I think I'm falling in love with it too. Kind of explain guys what you guys think about ice skating on our social media page. Yes, Miss Stephanie, and it's Funuguaz, guys, good team. What happens when the blade meets with the ice? Tell us the science behind that. See how we are, man. <laughs> Welcome back, people on Zanti. It's Abugele. It's showing it's another cool teenagers on a mission. Kona lagu channel and it's another cool footy. We say we see one Zanti for sure. That's right, and I'm Sanjay. Guess we're going to ice skating. This sport helps you to persevere. Kwa isn't using a call lula and teaches you to. Keep on practicing, you know, until you get it right. Most definitely, in Obatina Sandizin, we hang out with young ice skaters, Balaim Zanti, who are telling us all about ice skating. Let's go back to them. Okay, cool. So, you guys are going to show me some like awesome moves, right? Yes. You guys ready? Yes. Let's kill this. Off to you. Cool. So, let's talk about the whole sports thing. Do you guys practice every day? Um, I practice three times a week. I practice. Mainly every day. And you guys are trained? Yes. You guys are still in school? Yes. Yeah. And how do you juggle all of that? Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> tell, tell me. Skills. <laughs> uh, Maria, how do you juggle all of that? Um, well, I train very early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I wake up at 4, mm -hmm. get here at 5, mm -hmm. start training, then I leave to go to school, then mm -hmm. I do homework after school, yeah. then do ballet after school. Yeah, so many yeah. things. Yeah, <laughs> so many things. And Katrina, how do you do it? School uh, and practicing? in the afternoon, so uh -huh. then after school I come straight here and then I sleep till like, um, I do my homework and then I sleep at like 11, yeah. but it's fine. Okay, cool. So guys, let's talk more about the sports. You guys go to championships? You guys have been to championships? Yeah, we have like nationals and provincials and stuff. Okay, cool. So how does it, how does it go with the scores and winning trophies and being a champion? Like is it all the jumps and the twists? Tell me more about that. Well, they, um, 
we uh, get a reward based on our jumps, our spins, like the, level of like the levels. Yeah. So like if you have like a variety, like in your spin, like you go from forwards to backwards and stuff, like yeah. it's a level, and okay. then like they base your points according to the levels. Okay, so guys, take me through the process of you guys training. Okay. Well, um, norm, um, skating is two hours, the rink is open for two hours in the afternoon mm -hmm. and then you have about an hour with your coach and then an hour to practice on your own mm -hmm. and then yeah, I don't know, what do you... Mine's the same, same mm -hmm. as well. And, and the techniques, how, does it, how long does it take for you guys to actually know all these techniques of jumping and spinning? And... It takes a while, yeah. <laughs> it takes quite a while, like, yeah. you just have to like... Just go for it and then, yeah. Well, yeah. it took a while for me to learn the jumps, but yeah, the, spins the spins are I'm easy, to get. easy to get. Okay. Okay, so tell me, what have you guys learned from the sports? Well, for me, it's taught me it's not all about competition and competing and going against other people. It's also about having fun, mm. going out there, smiling, enjoying yourself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, well, it's more of a poised sport, so like it taught me that like um, I have to be disciplined as a person because you have to like get everything, the edges and stuff. Else, if you don't get it right, you fall. Mm. So it just keeps tells you, like it teaches you to keep moving forward and like not give up when you fall. Just keep like get up and do it again. Keep going. Hey man, what an icy day! Discipline, discipline, discipline. Your pina food, you get to discipline. Donna, if you want to do anything in life, you gotta have discipline. And these two girls have just shown us exactly that. If you want to do anything and you passionate about something, then just cut it for you on. Otherwise, this is what we call Mission Accomplished. Your boy C-A-D-D, I pronounce Caddy. Let's get it out of here. Hi, my friends, and you guys get to It's time for the TOMZ quiz. If you want to you guys were paying attention. But since it was my question, now I can't tell my friends, good to know that you you guys can play with us on our social media pages. Which team actually took it home? Is it the green team or the blue team? Check this out. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Says, you know that you guys are very special to us, and that's why in today's episode, Tamila Zayvagashela, it's Tembisa West Secondary School. Now, one of my friends, good is Misele and Futsi Sirredi, to have some awesome fun with you guys as we explore the wonderful world of science and technology. We interacted with them, great 12 learners, my friends, with Sabachela Gabans, my friends, about how science and technology has transformed our lives. And they say, my friends, good science is the system that we use to better understand the universe. If you don't know, now you know. You know the old saying, my friends, about knowledge is power and with power we can give birth to future leaders. Sambina Tabashi and Ingwati Bafet so that will empower the learners and leave them motivated. Ingwati Lez can assist the learners with career guidance as this is the time to be thinking about your future. Now the first good bang is Tom's without our dance off challenge. So Tambina say chai bas opinions about fundis. Oh yes, Buffet 2, welcome to the TOMZ Quiz Challenge, Buffet. You too can also play along on our social media pages on Facebook and on Twitter. All you have to do is simply slide in the DMs. Nomageo Shange email on tomzsabceducation.co.za. Zunbuza Umbuzo, the first team to press the buzzer gets to answer the question. You get it right, you get 10 points. If in Bendulo Oyazi, you can always ask your teammates. Umabek Jela, you only get 5 points, right? We're testing their knowledge with the TOMZ Quiz Challenge, Buffet. So last one, on Team B winning the first. Run. What makes it possible for ice skaters to skate on ice? A. Friction B. Magnetics C. Spinning D. Anatomy Press the buzzer if you know the answer right now. Team B, what is your answer? A. So your answer is A. Friction. A. Friction. Oh yes, Buffetu, congratulations to Utim B for making it through to the Knockout Challenge, Buffetu. Unfortunately, you guys are no longer a team Sendala individually, ne? Uti, what were the first ice skates made of? A, metal, B, bone, C, plastic, D, wood. Press the buzzer if you know the answer right now. All right, Tim Cheetah had his hand first on the buzzer. What's your answer? Uh, D. So your answer is D, wood. And Chofunetli, that is incorrect. Press the buzzer if you know the answer right now, my boy. It's plastic. And Chofunetli, that is incorrect, my boy. You have been knocked out. We then moved on to the second round where Utabo Mzola, a grade 12 learner who knocked everyone out and made it through to the last round, Lacey Bizang, a speed round master. Sambi Sobo no Gutiena, will he crack the puzzle? Congratulations, Buffet, to Utabo for making it through to the Tom Speed Round Master. I feel good. All right, cool. Now, I'm going to tell you something about the pattern of 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 the pattern of
You have two minutes to do exactly that. Sale sort of emova, was that in Sale sort of paper, ne? Cool stuff. You two minutes start about, start right about in Jinga Manch. Asambi taba, tambi taba, asambi taba. Taking it easy. 17 seconds gone on the clock, but fair too. Asiki Tibo, Sitibos Asambi, Asambi fit. No, you can't have the big on top of the small, yes. Asamba, 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 Asamba. Oh, Asamba Putwami. 47 seconds gone on the clock, but fair too. Approaching a minute now. Asamba, Asamba, Asamba. Asamba Putwami, Asamba Putwami. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there, uh, almost there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tabo cracked the puzzle in one minute, eight seconds, my fair to whoop. Tiazu to Kamalaga Tabo is gonna go to the TOMZ log where he will compete with other learners from other school for the ultimate prize of becoming a guest presenter on TOMZ. I feel good. All right, cool. Funu bingalela bani kai. I wanna greet my mom and my father and my two siblings. All right, cool. Since we shy lento ne. You actually stand a chance to guest present on ETOMZ on SABC1. How awesome is that? It's pretty cool. <laughs> if you want us to come to your school buffet and play with us and learn more, all you gotta do is simply drop us an email at TOMZ at SABCEducation.co.za. Bye. So, this is more like a guys that figure skating is all about speed and accuracy and moving forward. So what's the future looking like for figure skating? Computer software will be used to analyze figure skating jumps and spins. Le process le will make judging in competitions more accurate. Scientists have built an ice skating blade that can measure the impact of the skate, Mzimben. This will help skaters to avoid injuries in the sport. Ezinige innovations have helped skaters improve their posture during jumps, causing less injuries. Alright guys, I feel like a little pressure for us to say goodbye, but do remember that our social media pages are always open for you guys to just check us out. Are you ready to go? No, I don't think I am. No, Coach Buffett, if you want more information, go to our website at www.tomz.co.za, Facebook, Tom's, Twitter, TOMZ underscore SAPC underscore one. Until next time, we love you and stay blessed. Alright, here's what you can expect next time on Tom's. Started with a very smart guy who saw the plight of informal traders and decided to help. He came up with a new system that could help traders perform better and even figured out how to make the books work on it. Uno mechugo between formal and informal trading, Kota, what is it? Abanju didn't always do business like this, see how it changed over time. We ask Gutuzo and Zagalani to informal traders in the future? Well, test your knowledge with us on our incredible TOMZ quiz. Catch us same place, same time on our favorite channel, SBC One, where life and TV are one.